This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 11 G3 and G4 model, and I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard and the battery, keyboard assembly and the battery on the HP Chromebook 11 G3 and G4. Now G3 and G4 are different versions of the Chromebook but there is the parts and the procedure is the same for those. There is a version called G5 Education Edition. The procedure and the parts are different even though the laptop does look very similar. So this is for the HP Chromebook 11 G3 and G4. So first thing we gotta do is make sure that the laptop is off. Chromebooks turn on and turn off when you close and open the lid. So when you do that, make sure you just press the power button or shut it down through the software. Next, I'm going to show you which tools we're gonna use for this. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver, just in case. A metal spudger tool to pry open the keyboard assembly. A pair of metal tweezers to remove screws and manipulate cables if necessary. And a hobby knife or exacto knife to remove screw covers. So the first step is there's nine screw covers on the bottom, which we have to remove. There's also the pads for the feet but there's no screws beneath these just under the screw covers. So what we want to do is use our hobby knife to lift up the screw covers and all we'll I have to do is attach them right next to the opening so we can keep track which one goes where. So like this and there's one in the middle that's easy to miss so we gotta do that and there's four on the bottom. So for a total of nine. To save time, I've already removed the screws with a PH1 screwdriver. This is what the screws look like and this is the screwdriver. So there's nine screws in total. Once we do that, we flip the Chromebook over again. Now normally the Chromebook will start up again since we opened it. So turn it off with the power button and next we're going to lift up the keyboard assembly. To do that we pry it open with the spudger tool. So kind of work in between the rubber sides and the gap in the keyboard assembly and just try to and just work around the keyboard to pry it open. And you'll hear some snapping sounds. You might have to go around several times before it's totally detached from the bottom assembly. So I've already pried this one open before. It's a little bit easier in this video, but uh, it doesn't really take too long. So go around the keyboard assembly. And there's a place here, so you have to pry it open at the top too. and work like this and one more step. Once we do that there's some cables attaching the keyboard assembly to the bottom of the laptop so what we want to do is lift up from the bottom like this and turn the laptop around and if we can get a good angle we see that there's two cables attaching. So what we want to do is use our hobby knife and for each cable there's a bar that we have to lift up and for this let's I'm trying to get a good angle in there for this I'm just gonna use my fingernail to lift up this black bar and then remove this cable and same with this there's a black bar on the connector we lift it up and then we remove the cable okay so the keyboard assembly is released from the, from the laptop and this is all you do. So if you want to replace the keyboard assembly you can stop right here and put the new keyboard assembly in and that's it. Uh, we have at Screen Surgeons we have these keyboard assemblies in stock. 
We work with schools frequently and we have volume discounts. To uh, order this part from us, if you're a school, go to our website, screensurgeons.com. There's a tab that says schools at the top or a link that says schools at the top and then there'll be a short form for you to fill out and then we can take care of the rest. We do take purchase orders and we do have volume discounts. So the part number is 42Y07HSTP20, but it's called the HP Chromebook 11 G3, G4 keyboard assembly. Okay, so we're gonna put that on the side and the next step is removing the battery. To remove the battery, we just slide this connector out using our fingernails to slide it out, work it out like this. And then there is one, there's one, and two screws that we have to remove. So we do that, remove the two screws, and put it in a separate pile, like so. And then we lift up the battery, and see, there's, it snaps off, so there's some holding clips, and what's the best way? The best way is to use the sponger and snap open the battery and just take it out like that. Okay, the battery part number is PE03XL. And once again, screen surgeon, uh, screen surgeons, we do have this in stock. And if you are a school, just, just go to the school's link and contact us and let us know that you need this battery. Uh, if you want to order this online from us instead, uh, it's a little, little bit different procedure. Just go to our front page at screensurgeons.com and then there will be a short form for you to fill out and an assistant will sh give you the link to buy this part online. Okay, so once you do get this battery in, snap it back in, reconnect it, then put the two screws in and put the keyboard back in, snap it back in, reconnect the connectors, and then put the screws in at the bottom. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.